again I feel free, no longer alone. A bright light is shining and shows me a world that I own. I can see my way through. I know I will walk beside you. All those prayers of mine weren't in vain. I'm born again. Hello, Rahima. How are you? I'm Alara. I'm fine. Thank you. I was just about to call you. Oh, really? I'm glad I called you first. The reason I'm calling is to tell you about the dream I had. I saw you in it. Really? Was it good or bad? Did something bad happen in the dream? Calm down, lady. God is in control. In the dream, there was a wedding ceremony. It was in the most beautiful mansion I had ever seen. There was the bridegroom and there was the bride. Many people were seated enjoying the ceremony. The food was heavenly. The music was divine. Then as I looked outside the window, I saw you running very fast. You were trying to get inside before the door was closed. And then I woke up. Oh, wow. Did I make it to the wedding ceremony in your dream? Please tell me I did. I'm not sure. I woke up before I saw you inside. Was there something you wanted to talk to me about? Oh, Mular. I've been thinking about all the times you've been telling me to get born again. Yes, lady. And every single time you have refused. I know. Just let me land, will you? I'm sorry. Please continue. I had a divine encounter last night, which is why I called you. A divine encounter? Mular, I am ready to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. Are you serious? Yes, I'd like to get born again. My prayers over you were not in vain after all. Do you mind sharing this divine encounter with me? Sure. Last night, as I laid in bed, I started thinking about all the discussions we've had about how Jesus died for my sins and rose on the third day and he's now seated at the right hand of God making intercessions for us and then I must have drifted off to sleep because when I woke up this morning I remembered seeing myself walking on the streets of gold singing a song Omolara the amazing thing is that in real life I have never heard the song before. Do you remember the words to the song? It was something about when I was born again. I'm trying to remember the exact words. Um, it was a glad day when I was born again. It was a glad day when I was born again. It was a glad day when I was born again. It was a glad day when I was born again. The things I used to do, I do them no more. The things I used to do, I do them no more. The things I used to do, I do them no more. It was a glad day when I was born again. The place I used to go, I go there no more. 
the place I used to go. I go there no more. The place I used to go. I go there no more. It was a glad day when I was born again. Unbelievable. Now, can you assist me with a prayer to get born again? I would love to. Repeat after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I confess to you that I'm a sinner. I know you died for my sins. Welcome to God's family. Rahima, <laughs> there is joy in heaven right now. God said in the Bible that he will rejoice over you with singing. <laughs> what do I do now? Rahima, it is very important that you stay connected to God and his word. We are the branches. In order to grow, we need to stay connected to the source. God is our source. Is it okay if I call you once a week? For what? For kind of like a Bible study. You can ask me any question about scriptures you have learned. And I can share with you what God lays on my heart. Is this really necessary? Rahimat, iron sharpens iron. We need each other. The Bible also tells us not to forsake the gathering of saints. Many churches now offer online services with all that's going on in the world right now. Do you know any good churches that I can join? As a matter of fact, there's a great church in Bowie, Maryland, where the undiluted word of God is preached. The choir is amazing. There are many departments you can serve. The children's ministry is awesome. There's a youth service that even I love to attend. Really? Please tell me more about it. Sure. Ever since I joined this church, I have experienced exponential growth in my spiritual life. We are blessed with great spiritual leaders. The head pastor has written many books that can help you grow. I can even let you read the ones I have in my collection. There's one titled, The Eagle Deliver. I think my favorite is, Money is a Defense. We can discuss some of the points when I call you weekly for our Bible study. I can't wait. 